Hey, I'm Zoe and welcome back to my channel Zoe's All Booked. If you're new here, welcome to the shit show and welcome to my favorite time of year. It's Libra season, we are in the Burr months. The holiday season starts October 12th this year. I don't, I don't know when Canadian Thanksgiving is, but whenever that is, that's when holiday season starts for me. I am in my zone. I am in my element. I am living my best life. It's 11.27 p.m. right now on September 22nd, so we are almost officially into Libra season. It is the end of Virgo season, and it has been fucking testing me. I decided this year I was going to do a TBR for Libra season because why not? It seems like the right vibe. In true Libra fashion, I have many options here. I decided to go with like the main traits that, that, what are words, that define most Libras, or if you look at horoscopes or anything, these are like the main five traits that you see associated, associated with Libras. It is way past my bedtime and it's been months since I've done this. No, I'm not going with any like super negative ones because I'm a Libra and why am I going to talk shit about myself? Hmm? Also October 21st, Right at the end, I am a Scorpio cusp, but we don't like to talk about that. Anyways, let's just get into this. Um, I have the five categories here. No, that's Duolingo. That's not what I want. Here we go, five traits, starting with the main one and the theme that goes through the entire video here, indecisiveness. And like, I don't look at that one as a super negative one because we just, we like to weigh our options. That's, there's too many choices and you don't wanna make the wrong choice. For indecisiveness, shockingly, truly, I have not actually chosen a book. I've chosen a category and I'm going to take it to Instagram and the comments here to recommend me a good book because I've never read a story like this, which is shocking to me. I'm really surprised I haven't. For indecisiveness, I'm going to go with a why choose book where we have a woman who is being pursued or has the option of several different men and why should she choose between them? That is the real question. IRL, I would hate this, but in books, I think I would really like this. So if you have a fantastic why choose recommendation, why can I not breathe? What is, what is happening to me? Let me know because I'm very, very curious. Um, to try one of these. The spicier, the better, I think is where I'm gonna go with that. Next, I have diplomatic because we are always just trying to keep the peace. I don't wanna hear any of this. Devil's advocate, shut up, okay? We are diplomatic. We want everybody to be happy. We would like to come to a conclusion. No, a consensus. No, a, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. We just want everybody to be good, to be chill. This one is the only one that I've actually chosen a book and classic me, I wrote down what the book was, but not who it's by. So we're just gonna, we're gonna look this up. It's gonna be Daughter of the Empire. I wanna say Raymond E. Feist, but I think that's wrong. Hmm, it's not, but it's also by Janny Wirtz. That is a fantastic name. I'm obsessed with that. And Raymond E. Feist, published in 1987. So it's a little bit older than me. Uh, it's the first book in the Empire Trilogy, but it's a political fantasy and that takes like the center stage and just a lot of diplomacy. Reasoning may be a little iffy here, but I really want to read some epic fantasy, some very long fantasy books, especially in the fall months in Libra season because it's just, it, again, it's the vibe. So we're just, we're gonna fucking go with it. Also, when I was like Googling books with diplomatic characters, I didn't want nonfiction, like how to be a diplomat. Like, no, thank you. I would like to be entertained here. Nonfiction can move along to somebody who would enjoy that and appreciate it much more. Next up, I have Charming because we're real fucking charming. We are a ray of sunshine, a delightful ray of sunshine. I don't know where I'm gonna go with this one. Am I gonna read a romance that has a very, very charming character or am I gonna go with my first thought and with a Cinderella retelling because Prince Charming? 
I don't know. I can't choose. Do you think I've ever made a decision in less than like three to five business days? No. So help me. <laughs> Hi Draco, you're a very loud eater. Well, speaking of being, I feel like I'm being very loud right now because everybody's sleeping. It's almost midnight and my husband's working days tomorrow and my oldest has school, the other ones are sleeping. So like, am I being loud? Is that a real question that I'm asking people who cannot actually hear what my volume is at right now? It is. So just fucking go with it, okay? Romantic is next because we love to be romantic. We love to romanticize everything. It is all about the aesthetic and the vibe and everything is just fan-fucking-tastic. Truly don't know what the fuck is coming out of my mouth, but we are romantic bitches, okay? This one, again. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a romance. I honestly, is this just turning into an excuse for a massive book shopping spree? You're absolutely right. Yes, it is. I'm gonna go with a romance. A new to me author or something? I don't know. Am I gonna, am I gonna just pick any old romance and like romanticize the fuck out of reading that book? I have not decided in a crazy time of events or better yet if you have a book where like either of the characters is super super romantic like next level or just the entire book is let me know because i'm here for it i was trying to think of like books that i've already read that have super romantic characters and as always whenever i have tried to sp speak whenever i try to think of a specific book or something that happens in a book or a specific character, I forget everything I've ever read except something wildly inappropriate. So that happened there and it did not, it, it didn't go well for me. Um, finally, we're gonna go with social. Is that really the one I want to go with? I don't know, but we're just, it's late. I want to go to bed. I put a full face on to film this video at 11 p.m. So I'm just gonna, we're just, we're gonna fucking, we're gonna go with it. Will I add on to this TBR? Will I choose multiple books for each thing all the way through? Likely. Throughout the whole month? Very fucking likely. But social. We are social butterflies. We love to be in the midst of things. At least I do. I, I like big crowds and I cannot lie. Truly, I love being in big crowds and especially people that I don't know. I like it, but I like being social. I don't love being a homebody. And as a stay-at-home mom, I am a homebody. So any opportunity that I have to be social, that I have to go and do stuff or whatever, I take it. So for this one, originally I was like, I'm gonna go with a very social character. And my mind immediately went to Jenny Humphrey, specifically in the It Girl series, because I've been wanting to reread that one again for like the 15th time. And then I was thinking like, am I gonna go old school YA like that? Should I go with the click? Should I go with something like that? And then my mind went in a complete different direction and was like, what if I just do a book with a large cast of characters? Specifically because I wanna continue on with the Memory, Sorrow and Thorn series, the sequel series, The Last King of Austin Ard. The Witchwood Crown is the first book. I just finished rereading the original series trilogy series. I've read the three books. I haven't read any of the novellas or whatever. And like, it's just an excuse to read that one. So I don't know. Social, like, because there's just, there's, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of things happening, or do I just go with a social character? It could go either way. I'm gonna, I'm not a mood reader. Typically, like I like to set a TBR and stick to it, but apparently we're just throwing that all right out the fucking window this time And I'm gonna decide as I go Or again, if you have a really good recommendation for a book with either a large cast of characters or a very social character and that's like part of their personality Send them my way Send me on my way. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much fucking it. I rambled through this. I feel like I talked really fast, but honestly, I couldn't fucking tell you. This has been a little bit of a fever dream. 
Also, why am I drinking a chai latte at almost midnight? There's a lot of caffeine in that shit. It doesn't affect me though. Like it, it kind of settles me. So, I think I just need to go to bed. Oh my god. Mm. Also, I forgot to mention at the beginning something that I try to remember to do every video and then I inevitably forget every video, but I am currently reading Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. I've been reading this one for almost a month now, but I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks. Not listening to one right now because I just finished To Green Angel Tower, a thousand page, 68 hour audiobook, listening at 3.5 times the X whatever speed. But it was still a very long, long book and it was good. It's one of my favorite series. And I don't know what I'm going to start with tomorrow, today, in 20 minutes. Something from this, something else. Um, I need to finish reading. Um, oh my god. What was The Solstice Court by Jade Juniper. I've been reading that one for a very long time now, but I just ordered the book, like the physical book, because it came out on Friday. And I have been struggling with ebooks a lot. So I ordered the hardcover copy, and I'm going to breeze through that. And I will be doing a read it or unhaul it vlog. I meant to do that with the ebook, but I would have had to get rid of so many books, and then life just happened. So we're going to do that with the hardcover. And now I'm just rambling about anything else other than what the video is supposed to be about. So we're just going to, we're going to end it here. Let me know down below in the comments what your zodiac sign is, if you are a Libra, the best of the best. I am a little bit biased. Oh, just a oh, smidge. Um, and what you are planning on reading in the fall, in the rest of September, beginning of October, the rest of the year, whatever, whatever you feel like telling me. Or if that's just too much or you don't have a lot of time, drop some hearts down below, preferably purple ones because that's my favorite color. As always, to stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, you can follow me on everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads, Storygraph, and Twitter. But I don't, I don't use Twitter ever anymore because it's a fucking cesspool. Anyways, um, all ads always all booked, which I will leave linked down below in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video so everyone else can join in on the madness, the chaos, the shit show. With that, we have come to the very end of the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. I love you awesome nerds, and I will see you in the next one. Will it be just as chaotic? Probably fucking Lee, because I am likely going to film one right now. Is that a good idea? No, but I'm going to do it anyways. Because poor choices. We are ending out Virgo season with poor choices. Mm -hmm.